are completely moved out of one of our houses. If you can hear that, that's my mum doing a wonderful job vacuuming and doing the floors. I've done all the gardening. And now we've got a friend here who's just helping us pack stuff in the container. It's just another packing day. We officially leave tomorrow, so this is our last chance. So this is going to be a vlog of pretty much nothing. Sorry. The tears are gone. Can you see that? None. I even um, had to take our oldest son to school again. Nothing. I needed that good cry yesterday and now I'm back and now I'm positive and I'm excited and I'm I'm ready to go now so it's just just needed to get that out of my system so thanks for letting me do that <laughs> um, and everybody wrote such lovely comments thank you for those people it was just really nice to be reminded of what I needed to focus on <music> I read I'm up to page 95 of the Birdman's wife this is great at the start it it, it felt like I was gonna be in trouble because it was a bit more of a romance sort of little story happening um, and the birds were just a sideline even though I was I was really hoping that with the chapters being named after each bird then that would be the focus um, but now that's starting to work into it and we're talking more about how the the prints are made and how she's drawing and what she's learning and that's where I want to be in this story. I don't care about the romance. That can be neither here nor there. It's quite interesting that at the start it was the focus about her having a child and, you know, they're meeting, getting married, having a child. And then now I'm 95 pages in, the focus is about the drawing and it just, you know, casually mentions that. She's had another baby. So, yeah. I've read a lot of the love stories and I'd like one focused on birds. This book's really interesting. Um, at the moment, she's talking a lot about... Her name's Elizabeth Gould. What's her name? Yes, Elizabeth Gould. And she's painting all these different types of birds. And at the moment, she's painting a quetzal. I don't know what that is. But she's talking about her obsessiveness about getting the colours exactly right. And um, she can obviously buy pigment, like paint pigment from different places. Because she said, for the yellow, I used an Indian pigment made by feeding Brahmin cows the leaves of mango trees. Then intensifying the colour of the animal's urine by adding chemicals. That's how paint pigment was made. I mean, I just, like I said before, this is really going in depth about how she's creating each of her, um, each of her images and it's really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Bird books, loving them. Uh, I'm signing off guys. It's, um, it's a little short, sharp vlog today. In a couple of days, we will just be set up in a new beachside location and doing fun, interesting things. And the vlogs will get far more entertaining. So, sorry that Vlogmas and us moving kind of coincided. But, it is what it is. I am beat. I'm going to read and fall asleep. Probably when my book falls and hits my face. Does that happen to you? That happens to me all the time. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.